Hey everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to convert an image to text, that is optical character recognition. So we are going to use PyTesseract module in order to extract the text from the images. And I'm also going to extract some specific fields from the text based on some keywords. So it also includes uh, some regular expression. So we will be seeing a basic image to text conversion and text extraction. Okay, now let's import the modules. So this will be import modules. Anyway, let's leave some space. Now import matplotlib. So this is used to display the image. So matplotlib.pyplot as plot. The next one is uh, we are going to use pill library. So import pil. So using this uh, pill library, we are going to open the image and using that image, we can able to extract the string from it by using pytesseract. So let's import that pytesseract. Import pytesseract. So these are the basic models we are going to use. And lastly, we will use that matplotlib inline. Let's run this. So more no module name pytesseract. I think I have just made a mistake. So py tesseract. Let's run this now. Now it's running. Yeah, this is the module name. So before that, uh, you need to install this module. For that, you can easily use this uh, pip install pytesseract. So apart from these, you have to install a desktop version of pytesseract. So install desktop version of pytesseract. So this will be some exe file. I will try to upload this exe file uh, into the GitHub repo. If it's not, means uh, I will provide you the GitHub link for this pytesseract. So you can download this. And using this module only, we are going to extract the text. So these are some of the prerequisites. So prerequisites. And the next one is, let's load the image now. Load the image. So what we are going to do is load and uh, display the image. So to see what is there inside the image. So IMG equals fill dot image dot open this is a simple library you can also use the open cv so that model name will be import uh, cv2 so you can also use that so image name will be test.jpg now image will be loaded to this variable i will just try to plot it so plt dot i am show of image let's try to run this now this is the image I have. What I have done is I, I just type this uh, values in, inside a Word document and uh, take a snip from it. So this is just an image. You can able to see this similar kind of images in uh, bills or some policy forms, anything. So if it's related to some form extraction means the fields will be similar to this. So I have just created this image for the purpose of some insurance or uh, form insurance, something like that. So it has some uh, name, unique policy number, amount, start date, end date, and the geo coordinates of that uh, particular uh, place. So we are going to extract these things from the image. First, let's convert this whole image into a text. Now, convert image to text so to convert this we are going to use pytesseract 
So before that, we will just uh, do some configurations. So config pytesseract dot pytesseract dot tesseract command. So here you need to specify the path of the pytesseract folder. So that will be inside the C drive. I'll be having the file. If you install that uh, Windows file of uh, Tesseract slash Tesseract OCR, if you change the name means you need to specify it accordingly. Inside it, Tesseract will be there. Tesseract. So this is the path, and uh, we need to have a prefix that will be test data underscore prefix and uh, the same path uh, just this folder will be enough so paste the folder now these are the prerequisites for the configuration part so run this now let's uh, get the output so text data text data equals pytesseract dot image to string so there are many suggestions i am having i am just to convert into string and after that i can able to extract the text from it and here we have data boxes and some other uh, file formats are also there pdf something like that so i'll just use string now we already opened the image using that pill library so what we are going to do is image dot convert we're just converting into rgb so rgb comma language so sometimes so we need to specify the language i think by default it is english so if you have other languages means you need to download the corresponding files and after that you can able to specify that language if it's Hindi or uh, Russian means you have to specify the language and based on that it can able to extract the text. So let's try to run this. Let's print the data. Okay, it extracted all the things. I think let's use the print because it's showing so many new line. So as you can see, we can able to extract the text name, unique policy number, amount, start date, end date, geo coordinates. All are correct. So it didn't leave anything because the text is super clear. So if the text is so small means you definitely need to enlarge the text. So what you can do is just uh, resize the image into a bigger format. Like uh, you can able to go for some 1080p resolution. If you go for that means the pixel will will be much bigger and it can able to easily extract the text from it only if the text are so small so for us the text is somewhat bigger so we don't need to worry about that now we have extracted the text data so this is simple as it is so we can able to easily convert any image into a text now we need to extract specific fields from the text using rejects so for that we need to import a module I'll just import it here itself to get it organized. Now, extract specific fields. Okay. Now, we will use some matching uh, characters and uh, store it in a variable. Let's see. M equals I'm just going to extract the name, start date, geo coordinates. I think that is enough. All are almost uh, similar to that. So let's do that now. Ori dot search. You can able to use uh, other formats or other uh, compilation techniques in rejects. I'm just using search module. So I'm going to get the next word of the name. So name colon. So I'm going to get the word so backslash w plus plus indicates one or more it indicates at least we need uh, we need to get at least one 
so that is this plus and uh, we are going to pass that text data so text data now what we can do is we can print it okay now we will uh, store it in name name equals m of 1 let's see whether we have got the name so we have got the sample let's uh, see what is inside m so this is we are having name sample so we are getting the matching so m of 0 will be this one and one will be that sample let's go for two now it's showing index error i think if you go for two means uh, if you have other uh, words inside that means we can able to go for two i'm thinking like that but we need to execute and check whether it is working or not for now we can uh, able to extract the value using this m of one so similarly we need to extract all the other data also so let's uh, do this now i am going to get this start date so i'll just copy this and paste it so in start date it is not a word it's uh, it's also having some characters so i'm going to go for capital s now this will be start date and this is also start date similarly i'm going to go for uh, geo coordinates so here also that is capital s this will get the non white space character that is uh, these uh, characters so if you uh, if it reaches the white space means it will just stop it so these are uh, just a simple word these are some digits so based on that we can able to extract it accordingly here for this policy number and amount you can also use this uh, word itself so it can able to extract the text now let's see this uh, let's say coordinates 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 let's try to run it so 110 2019 yes we have got 110 2019 lastly let's go for geo coordinates 13 89 so we have got the geo coordinates also so in this you can able to use the string formatting options in python you can just uh, use split function to split the coordinates and able to search for some uh, weather data or uh, any other uh, data if you want so like this you can able to extract the specific text so i'm just extracting the text based on the word before that that is the prefix you can also easily capture or uh, you can also get some uh, important words using some other re regex techniques so we can also cover this topic in a separate video how to use this regex and how to find the text data quickly so i think that is it so this is the basic image to text that is optical character recognition using pytesseract so if you have any other modules apart from pytesseract means uh, please leave a comment below so we can able to use that and check the performance between these two and if you have any other methods apart from this as a best practice just mention it in the comments it will be very useful for others if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos see you guys in the next video